Hey guys, uh, we're live, Zach. We should be. Okay, we should be live, so I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and start. Be. Maybe it'll start in the middle of my sentence. I'm here with Dave Kiwaka, and he is from High Point Firearms, and we're going to be talking about the Name the Nine contest that most of you know as Yeet Cannon. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that for a little bit. Zach, go ahead and cue up the opening video and hit it. Coming to you direct from Silencer Shop Studios, home of the glass case of emotion. Silencershop.com, the easiest way to buy silencers online, period. Stand by for education, enlightenment, enjoyment, and entertainment. He's not here to talk about your feelings. He's not here to say what you want to hear. He's here to say what needs to be said. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, please welcome your host, the pimp hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. But we'll take it. But we'll take it. There we go. So welcome, guys. Welcome. I want to uh, talk to Dave today about what is possibly going to be called the Yeet Cannon, which um, can you define Yeet for us real quick? Me? Yes. No. Okay. Well, there's a news article that I think NBC or somebody in Columbus, they're close to you guys, they released and the definition of Yeet that was on there. So now I know what it means. It essentially means to uh like shooting joy or expressing joy of some sort so it's an interesting thing i'd never heard of the term but that's what it is so uh, how did this name the nine contest come about Uh, literally between you know everyone's seen this thing between the shot show nra footage um, which i'm looking at the wrong screen here so i can keep it in frame um we really don't have a name for the new gun and so it pretty much came about. It was like, well, why don't we just throw it out there and get some suggestions from everyone? And that's that's where it started. It actually was suggestions of names. And we said was, you know, submit your suggestion. And from there, what the factory itself likes, they'll take it and pick what they like out of those groups and put them up to a vote. And that's pretty much what we did yeah. to start off. So at SHOT Show and NRA, you had people submitting uh, recommendations hmm. there or you did it online? No, I mean, I mean – since the inception people have suggested names to us but um the actual formally taking names didn't start till what was it uh two a couple weeks ago, ago. yeah yeah i think so i was starting to think that first phase was like a week and a half i think we were actually took name submissions it was like almost eight thousand names were submitted yeah that's great and so out of the eight thousand uh, first of all i need to bust everybody's balls that's in the student of the gun audience <laughs> we only had 121 of you go there and say hey please name this SOTG nine only 121 out of 8,000 uh, entries. That's ridiculous. It's not good. So now that I'm done busting your balls, thank you to those 121 of you that said, Hey, this SOTG would be a good name for this. We appreciate you. But then uh, I know Sean Heron over at, we like shooting. Now he's got a one up on us. He got 300 and some, they Which is, you guys. <laughs> by the way, 300 and some is actually more than double what Student of the Gun had. So I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, thanks to those 121 of you that, that submitted. Um, but then the Yeet Cannon was the, the one that was odd that I had never seen. And obviously the other ones were geared towards uh, a company that's in the industry. But then some people recommended this thing called the Yeet Cannon. And there were many variations of it, but you wrap those all into one stat and that came out to like 500 and some 556 556 yes out of 8,000 yeah. so it wasn't yeah. a lot it was the most out of the things that were that you guys had published on that picture right. so but it wasn't like an overwhelming majority of the 8,000 no. votes no no it really wasn't it was from the day one that the thing went live it was the social media comments everything on Facebook and Instagram where it was coming up more and more and we're just like what the hell is with the heat cannon? And by day two, which really I think was like on a – when did it start? On a Friday? So it was like on a Saturday. It was like, okay, this is getting a lot. And we all started talking about it. It was like heat cannon is getting huge traction but not in actual submissions. It was like, okay, well, let's make a new plan here. So before that phase had even ended of taking names, we're like, all right, we're, we've got this point. A couple thousand people have submitted on Facebook and Instagram. Um, by Monday morning, we're like, "What? What's a new plan now? How are we gonna? How are we gonna really work this in our favor?" And this is where it turned into going. All right, if we knew we were gonna announce it on. I'm trying to figure it now. What's the date? We're gonna announce it on the 24th or the 25th of what would be the winning selection. 
excuse me, the winning selection from the second phase, which was voting the names that the factory was going to pick for what they liked. So, because the, the factory's like, what the hell is Yeet Cannon? So they've been going through and we're picking what they liked out of it. And we kept saying, you know, Yeet Cannon is something we really need to consider here. So we thought, all right, let's have fun with it. We'll wait till the end. We'll, we'll put up our the list that you guys like. We'll put those up. What wins from that is that's when we'll do the comp- competition between it and Yeet Cannon. And, and it was like, yeah, this is a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. And that was Until before. We, that, so that decision, that talk had happened before you released before the new form. Okay. Be- before Monday. Yeah, we released the 10. The, uh, was it Monday? Yeah. It was today, Thursday. I, it's all run together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that talk was before Monday, before we cut off that first phase. We're like, we've got to do something with it. And I even told guys as High Point on social media, I'm like, hey, go submit this, you know, on our website. And I got some replies of like, yeah, we are. What do you think we're doing? Stupid. And I'm like, well, but are you really doing it? Because I'm not seeing that many entries. And they didn't. They just kept bombarding us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. So the, the moral of the story is go go to the page and submit the submit. The, actually, do the submission thing that more than 121 of you should have done. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I kid, I kid. We we do appreciate you guys. Uh, we're I'm looking at the comments over here, and there's hashtag Yeet Cannon. Yeet Cannon oh, is yeah. hilarious and going to make tons of money. Yeet <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> uh, one Dude, person says, we, we can't. <laughs> "Go ahead." No, I so said we can't post anything without he can. That's hilarious. I mean, I, I threw up a uh, post today. I, I remember now, and immediately like he can, he can. And I'm just sitting back laughing. I'm like, oh, this is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, you know, the the passion for it is absolutely unreal. It, it really shows the fun and frivolity that the industry has. So totally. the, the industry, the community, and the the gun culture, all of us, like we do have senses of humor, believe it or not. Right. And I would say that we're, we, as a culture, have a better sense of humor than most other uh, industries. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's fantastic. Absolutely. You have but, to, man. You have but to. this has gained so much traction that news stories have started publishing it now. <laughs> and so people actually get to see <laughs> the fun that we have. And it's, absolutely. it's fantastic. So uh, <laughs> the naming contest, I, I I mean, it's not even over yet, but it's a success. I would consider it a success. Yeah, it's a success. I mean... Um, I'm, I'm trending looking to see what's being submitted now and there's two names that I won't say what they are um, have that top running and that top number one name will reveal that live on what I think it's Tuesday um, we'll reveal it on Tuesday and at the same time then the round of that name versus Yeet will then be live so all these thousands of guys for Yeet had better go vote for that thing yeah no kidding if this thing doesn't come out named the Yeet Cannon, I'm going to be so disappointed. Oh, you're telling me. You're telling me. And the factory's going to be like, what is this name that we have to put on this thing? No, no they're, they're, they're on board. They're totally on board. That's great. Uh, uh, Angle King says, Crossbreed Holsters, limited edition holster. I'm down with that. You guys should do it. Limited edition holster for the Yeet Cannon. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I'll say regardless of name, the plan is as soon as we get some, because um, this is still the 3D printed one from Shot Show and NRA Show. Yeah. Um, but once we have actual like a, a pre-production sample, whatever, I intend to get them out to some holster outfits. So we've got holsters out ahead of time because, regardless, people still want this thing. I mean, and it is it is it is pretty cool. Yep. Well, Nathan yeah. from Crossbreed is on this live stream right now, so Nathan, <laughs> even there, better. There you go. <laughs> um, that that's fantastic, and that thing looks like. We, we've always been a big fan of the the high point guns. We've been talking about them for a long time here on Student of the Gun. And that thing actually looks desirable. <laughs> it doesn't look like something you just want to beat somebody with. Now, the guns right. have always functioned very well. Like, we've yeah, never yeah. had a problem with any of the guns that high point has made. Um, some of them, some people would say that it's a face only a mother could love. But this new one that hopefully is going to be called the Yeet Cannon. And it, those of you that are watching the video, Dave is doing the Vanna White thing with, with everything right now. So you get well, yeah, a, man. Yeah. a little sneak peek. Um, I tried to get him to fly out here with a, a pre-production model, and he said that, well, if you want to do it now, we have to do Skype. I was like, okay, I guess I'll settle. <laughs> but well, come on, man. I was going to hop on a plane like you know a couple hours ago and get out there. What are you talking about? Yeah, it, it was funny because uh, when I called you the other day, I was actually, we were streaming directly to the grad program 
and and I was like, this is going to be a great. I was just calling to see why SOTG didn't end up on there, and then I saw the only 121 entries. I was like, oh, that's why. <laughs> but Dave, he was so busy he couldn't answer my call. So uh, Dad had sent us both a text message and said, hey, organize something. And I was like, yeah, but Dave's treating me like an ex-wife, so. <laughs> I've been like a chicken with my head cut off, man. Yeah, it's dude. Been insane. Totally understand. <laughs> totally understand. I just like to bust your balls a little bit. I, mean, uh, I had a week's worth of graphics planned and set up that we basically had to scrap since pushing everything forward a week ahead by announcing, you know, yep. Geek Cannon versus XXX. Yep. It was like, okay, well, now what I had a good, a good buffer for the week, I got to totally start over again. Yep. Yep. It's like awesome. Thank <laughs> Welcome. you, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Internet. Yeah. Right. There is right. a question from Matt Harmon. He says, why does it have a grip safety? Um, mainly because the original guns, they have annoying rattle, which was a sear drop safety. And they wanted to get, they liked the drop safety uh, feature of the old gun. Um, and so to get rid of that, that's when they opted for the grip safety. Okay. So, so to yeah, eliminate the rattle. Yep. So, I mean, yes, I know we know a lot of guys are not fans of grip safeties and oh, well, I mean, it's there. Yeah. I mean, that's, we're going to have it. Sometimes you just have to do things and yeah, well, I mean, it's going to be named the eat cannon, so it doesn't matter. Right. It, right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see carbine. So James Gilbo says the carbine is going to be the yeet stick. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this is so fun. This is so fun. The yeet stick. Uh, I, I didn't know the mag came out. I thought you just shot what was in it and then tossed it. Hashtag yeet cannon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it's cool. Yes, please do. When you get, when you get the yeet cannon, then please shoot it. Toss it when it's empty, and then go buy another one. Go buy another one. Yeah, that's a, dude. Please, that's great. <laughs> we'll get behind that right now. Uh, uh, the grip, the grip better say yeet zone. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> okay, so so uh, what is coming in the future for this this name the nine contest? Uh, the immediate next phase, which will be next week, will unveil. Obviously, the Yeet Cannon name versus whatever people vote on that's going live now. Um, and from that result there, regardless of what wins, we've got a lot planned, man. We've got a lot planned, and just – you'll be surprised. How's that? Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is, shh. <laughs> well, I can't give it all away right now, man. You oh, know? no, for sure, yeah. Yeah, you got to leave some. It's like wearing clothes. You got to leave some to the imagination. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, because this thing, just the design of this thing in general, you know, has been so absolutely huge for us. You know, we're not going to stop with this. Yeah. You know, so there's plenty more in the works. Plenty more coming. Yeah. Um, so, we're just not going to share that yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you want to, let me know. We'll jump back on. Um, oh, absolutely. Can we talk about the process of the design for that? Eh, man, that. That really falls to Joe and Mike. Um, Are any of them the within owners. arm's reach? No. Oh, okay. No. no. Um, that would be for them, which, again, we can do that for another day. We can we can coordinate that and uh, be at the factory and, and kind of talk with them. and Yeah. Yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. Because I've always wondered, like, the high point pistol has been, like, the design for a while now. Yeah. And so why, A, why is the change even happening? And then B... How did they come um, about the design change? Um, some of that I can tell you is with the with the old gun. Well, the new gun. I'm holding the new one. With the old gun. Oh, oh, you're sorry. My feet changed. Um, with the old gun that Tom had designed, it was Tom Deeb's company. <clears throat> excuse me. And again, excuse me. Um, so Tom Deeb, he designed his those guns. That was his design, and. He was pretty content with it because it was selling. It was always been selling. I mean, the price point was right. Yep. The gun worked, unless you ask the haters, but whatever. Um, you don't ever. He that. didn't really. Right. He didn't really see a whole lot of need for the change. And when he decided he was going to step out, and he sold it to Mike, and High Point then became Mike's. He was like, "Well, let's let's do some new stuff." And that was kind of just because we knew we knew the line. I mean, like the basic handgun hasn't really changed in 20, 20 years, more or less, I think. Right. I think 20 years ago, they went to the polymer frame from the uh, aluminum frame. So it's just kind of a, it's, it was overdue for a, an update, for a change. Yeah, that's great. So. That's great. 
Well, and so let's get them on, um, talk to them and see if what their time frames like. Yeah. But I want to talk to them about the design process and how they came about. This is deciding yeah, how I to, think that'd be awesome. to make it look like that. That would be pretty cool. Well, do you have anything else that you want to share from High Point or the Name the Nine contest or anything? A, a biggest thing really is is you know vote now for the current names we have out there, and just sit back and wait. And then yeah, all you Yeet Cannon fans, seriously, vote for this thing next week. Vote and vote hard for it. Yep. So when is the when the Yeet Cannon is going to be an option? versus the one that's so the voting process right now is there's 10 options whichever one vote. wins out of that then it's going to be put up against the yc9 which is Yeet cannon 9. On, the, on the 25th and that will happen on the 25th so on the that's 25th is the final Tuesday. round of voting yep just so you guys know more than 121 yep. of you yep cool well thanks man thanks for joining us uh, i know this was a, a, a shorter live stream for you guys but most people don't watch it past eight minutes anyway. So <laughs> according to social media, man. that's what they say. <laughs> that's funny. Cool. Well, th- uh, go to high, po- high dash point firearms.com high dash point, yep. and then you can get to the voting from there. Correct. Oh yeah. Oh, right. There's this click here. You can't miss it. Dude. There you go. High dash point firearms.com. Thanks for joining us today, Dave. You go ahead and flip us off. Zach. Thank you. <laughs>